वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वीडियो विल स्टडी अ वेरी फेमस शॉर्ट स्टोरी रिटन बाई अर्नेस्ट फैमिंग वे अ डेज वेट एंड द टॉपिक्स विल कवर इन दिस वीडियो दैट आर अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस स्टोरी अबाउट द अप्रोप्रिएटनेस ऑफ द टाइटल ऑफ दिस स्टोरी एंड अबाउट द ऑथर ऑफ दिस स्टोरी एंड देन अ क्विक रीडिंग ऑफ दिस स्टोरी एंड फाइनली द समरी ऑफ दिस स्टोरी सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस स्टोरी सो दिस स्टोरी A Day's Wait was published by Ernest Hemingway in 1933 in his short story collection named Winner Take Nothing which portrays a in this story portrays a young boy's inner conflict and fear when he becomes ill Now the introduction of this story This story focuses on the boy and his father who calls him Scarge Scarge is a German name which means my treasure. When the boy gets the flu, a doctor is called in and recommends three different medicines and tells the boy's father that his temperature is 102 degrees Fahrenheit. He is very quiet and depressed. Finally asking when he will die, he had thought that a 102 degree temperature was lethal because he heard in France where Celsius is used that one cannot live with a temperature over 44 degrees. When the father explains to him the difference in scales, the boy slowly relaxes and the next day he cries very easily at little things that were of no importance. So the story mainly signifies the boy's misunderstanding leading to many changes in his own mind. Now let us discuss about the appropriateness of this title title of this story so the title a day's wait refers to the time period in which a boy learns the significant significant difference between centigrade and fahrenheit so in the story scarge is afflicted with a bad case of influenza and the so the title refers to the time period in which a young boy learns the importance of verified knowledge a specified knowledge of the skills so the title is very appropriate because the boy was waiting for his death unknowingly just he was not having the specific knowledge about the skills so the title is appropriate now about the author of this a uh, short stories and now about the author of this short story ernest hemingway so ernest hemingway was born in the 18 1899 and died in 1961 he lived a life full of adventure he was one of the one of a group of writers called the lost generation these writers rejected what they saw as an american american focus on the acquiring many possessions along with being one of america's most famous writers hemingway was a fisherman a hunter and a fan of bullfighting he participated in both world wars both world wars many of his works are based on his experiences in europe and cuba like much of hemingway's writing a day's wait is based on actual events in hemingway's life while hemingway was living in france his son came down with a high fever and reacted similarly to the boy in the story you just read now let us have a quick reading of this story so he came into the room to shut the windows while we were still in bed and i saw he looked ill he was shivering his face was white and he walked slowly as though it ached to move what is the matter scarge i have got a headache you better go back to bed no i am all right you go to bed i'll see you when i am dressed i am dressed but when i came downstairs he was dressed sitting by the fire looking a very sick and miserable boy of 9 years when i put my hand on his forehead i knew he had a fever you go up to bed i said you are sick i am all right he said when the doctor came he took the boy's temperature what is it i asked him 102 downstairs the doctor left three different medicines in different colored capsules with instructions for giving them one was to bring down the fever another a purgative the third to overcome an acid condition the germs of influenza can only exist in the an acid condition he explained 
He seemed to know all about influenza and said there was nothing to worry about if the fever did not go above 104 degrees. This was a light epidemic of flu and there was no danger if you avoided pneumonia. Back in the room I wrote the boy's temperature down and made a note of the time to give the various capsules. Do you want me to read to you? All right, if you want to, said the boy. His face was very white and there were dark areas under his eyes. He lay still in bed and seemed very detached. What was going on? I read aloud from Howard's pile book of pirates, but I could see he was not following what I was reading. How do you feel, Scarge? I asked him. Just the same so far, he said. I sat at the foot of the bed and read to myself while I waited for it to be the time to give another capsule. It would have been natural for him to go to sleep, but when I asked, when I looked up, he was looking at the foot of the bed, looking very strangely. Why don't you try to go to sleep? I wake up. I will wake up you for the medicine. I had rather stay awake. After a while, he said to me, "You don't have to stay here with me, Papa. If it bothers you, if it doesn't bother me, no, I mean you don't have to stay if it is going to bother you." I thought perhaps he was a little light-headed, and and after giving him the prescribed capsule at eleven o'clock, I went out for a while. It was a bright cold day the ground covered with the sleet that had frozen so that it seemed as if all the bare trees the bushes the cut brush and all the grass and the bare gro- ground had been varnished with ice i i took the young iris set her for a little walk to the up the road and along the frozen creek but it was difficult to stand or walk on the glassy surface and the red dog slipped and slithered and fell twice twice hard Once dropping my gun and having it slide over the ice we flushed a cave of quail under a high clay bank with overhanging brush and killed two as they went out of sight over the top of the bank some of the cave lit the trees but most of them scattered into bushes brush piles and it was necessary to jump on ice coated mounds of brush several times before they would flush coming out while you were poised unsteadily on the icy springy brush brush they made difficult shooting and killed two two missed five and started back pleased to have found a cave close to the house and happy there have, there were many so many left to find on another day at the house they said the boy had refused to let anyone come into the room you can't come in he said you must ha- you must not get what i have i went up to him and found him exactly the position i had left him white faced but with the tops of his cheeks flushed by the fever staring still as he stared at the foot of the bed i took his temperature was it it something like a hundred i said it was 102 and 4 tenth it was a hundred and two he said who said so the doctor your temperature is all right i said it is nothing to worry about i don't worry he said but i can't keep from thinking don't think i said just take it easy i am taking it easy he said to the looked straight ahead he was evidently holding tight on to himself about something take this with water do you think it will do any good of course it will i sat down and opened the pirate book and commenced to read but i could see he was not following so i stopped about what time do you think i am going to die he asked what about how long will it before i die you are not going to die what is the matter with you oh yes i am i heard him say 102 people don't die with a fever of 102 that is silly way of talk way to talk i know they do at a school in france the boys told me you can't live with 44 degrees i have got 102 he had been waiting to die all day ever since 9 o'clock in the morning you poor scars i said poor old scars it is like miles and kilometers you are not going to die that is a different thermometer on that thermometer 37 is normal on this kind it is a 98 are you sure absolutely i said it is like it is like miles and kilometers you know like how many kilometers we make when we do 70 in the car oh he said but this gaze but his gaze at the foot of his bed relaxed slowly the hold over himself relaxed too finally and the next day it was very slack and he cried very easily at little things that were of no importance here the story ends now let us discuss the summary of this story
so in this story we have read that the story opens how the story opens the story opens as a father discovers that his 9 year old boy scarj has a fever the father sends for the doctor and he diagnoses a mild case of influenza as long as the fever does not go above 104 degrees the doctor says the boy will be fine and he leaves three different types of medication for him with some instructions for each scarj's temperature is determined to be 102 degrees when the doctor leaves the father reads to scarj from a book about parrots but the boy is not paying attention at all and is staring fixedly at the foot of the bed his father suggests he try to get some sleep but scar says he would rather be awake he also says that his father need not stay in the room with him if he is bothered his father says he is not bothered and father is giving him his 11 o'clock dose of medication the father goes outside it is a wintry it is a wintry day with sleet frozen on to countryside and the father takes the family's irish setter out hunting along a frozen creek bed both man and dog fall more than more than once on the ice before they find a covey of quail and kill two the father pleased with his exploits returns to house upon returning home he finds that scarge has refused to let anyone into his room because he does not want anyone else to catch the flu the father entries enters anyway and finds the boy still finds that the boy is still staring at the foot of the bed he takes his scarts temperature and finds 102 as before he tells his scarts his temperature is fine and not to worry scarts says that he is not worrying but he is thinking when the father gives his scarts his meditation scarts asks if he thinks the meditation will help and the father answers affirmatively positively after attempting to interest scarts in the parrot book and failing in this the father pauses whereupon scarts ask him when the father thinks scarts will die it emerges that scarts has heard heard in at school in france that no one can live with a temperature above 44 degrees so scarts thinks he is sure to die with a temperature of 102 he has been waiting to die all day after the father explains the difference between fahrenheit and celsius scarts relaxes letting go of his iron self control and the next day he allows himself to get upset over little things so this is all about the chapter today's story a day's wait and the rest of the other things like word meanings hard words and the question answer six other exercises we will discuss in our next video so that's all for today thanks a lot for watching the video if you like the video please share this video also with your uh, with your uh, friends and subscribe the channel also thanks a lot for watching this video god bless us all